A blessed morning to each and every one of you, children of the Most High. It is Rhapsody Time, Reality Time. Today I'll be sharing a message from our man of God entitled, Invigorated by the Holy Ghost. Our opening scripture is from the book of Ephesians chapter 3 verses 14 to 16 and I read, For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and in earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his Spirit in the inner man. Hallelujah! In our theme scripture, the Apostle Paul, by the Spirit, prayed for the Christians in Ephesus to be strengthened with might in their inner man. If Paul prayed thus for them, it must mean that he knew what it meant to be strengthened and must have been strengthened himself. Therefore, he wasn't trying to get God to fulfill a promise or do something that we don't already have as Christians. Why then did Paul pray for the saints in Ephesus that way? It was because the people had not come to the full knowledge of the divine might at work in them by reason of the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. It was more of getting them to be conscious of the divine energy, the supernatural might of the Spirit inherent in them. This strengthening isn't coming from heaven. It is by the Spirit of God that's already inside them. He wanted them to understand the ministry of the Holy Spirit inside them and walk in His might. There is a Spirit inside you that invigorates you. That Spirit gives you supernatural power the ability to perform hallelujah this is why you must never confess or accept that you are weak there is no weaknesses in your life for the holy spirit the embodiment of all glory dominion and strength lives in you in his fullness no part of your body is available for sickness disease infirmity or to the devil the holy spirit is in you keeps your spirit soul and body invigorated and ever alive. Romans chapter 8 verse 11 declares, But if the Spirit of Him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by His Spirit that dwelleth in you. Hallelujah! This is no longer a promise, my brothers and sisters, but it is a present hour reality. Glory to God! Now, let us raise our hands and take this confession after me. Every fiber of my being is energized and infused with miracle working abilities. I am strengthened and invigorated by the Holy Spirit in my inner man, thereby competent for any task. I am conscious of and function with his divine might that works in me mightily. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Now, take some time today and study these following scriptures for you to further understand today's topic. From the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10, preferably the Amplified Classic Version. From the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. And from the book of Colossians chapter 1 verses 9 to 11. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Tune in again tomorrow for another explosive message from our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. Have a beautiful day ahead. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him, and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. 
I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com. That's tni.msia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.